In the vastness of the cosmos, a miraculous event occurred around 4.5 billion years ago. Within the swirling clouds of dust and gas, a new world was taking shape, our Earth. The conditions that led to this formation were incredibly precise. A delicate balance of cosmic forces came into play, with gravity pulling together the scattered elements to form this blue marble we now call home. Yet in these early stages, life as we know it was a far-fetched dream. The newborn Earth was a hot, molten world, bombarded by asteroids and comets. The air was poisonous, filled with gases like methane and ammonia. The surface was a seascape of molten rock, a place where no life could survive. Despite these extreme conditions, Earth continued to evolve. Its surface cooled, the atmosphere changed, and bodies of water started to form. After hundreds of millions of years, the stage was finally set for the first actors of life to make their appearance. In primordial oceans, life began its journey, not with a roar, but with a whisper. The birth of life on our planet is a story of resilience and innovation, a saga set in motion billions of years ago. In the vast, seemingly barren expanse of our early oceans, something extraordinary was brewing. These waters, rich in organic compounds, were the cradle of life as we know it. In this nutrient soup, the first unicellular organisms, microscopic life forms consisting of a single cell, emerged. These pioneers of life weren't much to look at, certainly not by today's standards, but don't let their simplicity fool you. These little powerhouses held the blueprint for all life that followed. How did this happen? Well, the conditions were just right. Earth's early atmosphere was a cocktail of gases, including methane, ammonia and water vapor. Without oxygen, this was a harsh environment, but ideal for the development of these simple life forms. Exposed to energy sources such as sunlight, heat from volcanic activity and lightning, these gases reacted to form amino acids, the building blocks of life. Over time, these amino acids assembled into proteins, which then organized into the first cells. This was the beginning of life on Earth, a process known as abiogenesis. These primordial cells were incredibly simple, but importantly, they could replicate. And with each replication, there was a chance for change, for evolution. These unicellular organisms thrived, multiplying and diversifying, filling every nook and cranny of the oceans. They began the process of photosynthesis, using sunlight to make food and, crucially, producing oxygen as a byproduct. This was a game changer. Over billions of years, these simple organisms transformed Earth's atmosphere, making it hospitable for more complex life forms. These tiny organisms were the pioneers, paving the way for more complex forms of life to evolve. From these humble beginnings, life on Earth began its incredible journey. A journey that continues to this day. A journey that we are all a part of. Fast forward to around 540 million years ago, the world witnessed an unprecedented event, the Cambrian Explosion. This was a time when the Earth's biodiversity took a giant leap forward, a sudden burst of evolution that completely transformed the biosphere. Imagine a world where life was largely unicellular, and then in the blink of an eye in geological terms, the planet was teeming with a myriad of multicellular organisms. Now, that's a revolution. This phenomenon is what we call the Cambrian Explosion. The Cambrian Explosion was like nature's grand experiment, where it tried out all sorts of body plans, leading to the emergence of the first complex organisms. The oceans were suddenly filled with an array of new creatures, from tiny plankton to the first primitive fish. The world was no longer dominated by simple, soft-bodied organisms, but by a host of weird and wonderful creatures with shells, spikes and even the beginnings of eyes. But why did it happen? Well, conditions were just right. The climate was changing, oxygen levels were increasing, and the chemistry of the seas was shifting. Life seized this opportunity, diversifying and innovating like never before. This period marked the beginning of an arms race, leading to the evolution of more sophisticated life forms. It was a time of rapid change, a time that set the stage for the vast diversity of life we see today. A new era dawned around 230 million years ago, an age dominated by the most iconic creatures in the history of life on Earth, the dinosaurs. Welcome to the Mesozoic Era, a time period split into three distinct epochs, the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. 
This was a time when life took a dramatic turn, giving rise to a diverse range of reptilian creatures that would rule the planet for nearly 165 million years. In the early Triassic, dinosaurs started as small, bipedal creatures. But as the eons passed, they evolved into a multitude of forms. Some sprouted wings and took to the skies, others grew long necks to reach the treetops, while others became massive predators, their names synonymous with terror and power. These creatures were not just passive inhabitants. They shaped the Earth's ecosystems in profound ways. Herbivorous dinosaurs, with their relentless grazing, influenced the evolution of plants. Carnivorous dinosaurs, in their role as apex predators, kept populations of other creatures in check. But this era of giants was not to last. Around 66 million years ago, catastrophe struck. A comet or asteroid estimated to be six miles wide slammed into what is now the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. The impact released energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, triggering a chain of events that altered the Earth's climate drastically. Within a short geological time frame, these magnificent creatures disappeared, leaving only their fossilized remains as a testament to their existence. It was a mass extinction that ended the reign of the dinosaurs, but it also paved the way for new life forms to take center stage. Despite their demise, dinosaurs still hold a special place in our imagination. They are a stark reminder of nature's ability to create and destroy, to evolve and adapt. They continue to inspire wonder, curiosity and a profound appreciation for the vast tapestry of life that has unfolded on this planet. Their reign ended abruptly, but the legacy of the dinosaurs continues to captivate us. After the fall of the dinosaurs, a new class of animals rose to prominence, the mammals. The world they inherited was vastly different from the dinosaur-dominated landscapes of the Mesozoic era. With the colossal reptiles out of the way, the mammals had room to flourish and diversify into a multitude of forms. Evolution, that grand and ceaseless engine of change, began to shape the mammals in new, exciting ways. Over millions of years, mammals evolved a variety of adaptations that gave them an edge in the survival game. Fur and mammary glands for feeding their young were just the tip of the iceberg. Mammals became masters of the night, developing keen senses of hearing and smell to navigate their darkened world. But what truly set the mammals apart was their diverse range of sizes and lifestyles. From the tiny shrew to the enormous blue whale, mammals conquered the earth the skies and the seas, and within this diverse group a new type of mammal began to emerge, one that would eventually lead to us, the primates. The first primates were small, tree-dwelling mammals with big eyes and nimble fingers, traits that would prove vital in their evolutionary journey. As they evolved, they developed larger brains and increased social behaviour, setting the stage for a remarkable evolution. The stage was set for the arrival of a species that would change the course of life on Earth forever. Finally, around 200,000 years ago, a new species emerged, Homo sapiens. Our species, the latest chapter in the grand story of life. Born from the lineage of great apes, we were not the first humans, but we were unique. Our capacity to reason, to communicate and to create set us apart. We began to shape the world around us, harnessing fire and crafting tools. We built societies, developed cultures and dared to imagine a future. Our influence extended across the globe, from the deepest oceans to the highest peaks. Yet our actions also had consequences, impacting the Earth's ecosystem in profound ways. But the story doesn't end here. As we stand on the cusp of a new era, we hold the future of life on Earth in our hands. We are the latest chapter in this grand story of life, a story that is still being written.